So you have an 80 year old female. She's brought to the emergency room with sudden, severe, like peri umbilical pain. But when you look at the abdomen, there's no abdominal distension. If you palpate, like the, the exam is bizarre and looks like the patient is in a lot of pain. Dr. Kefa, mm. with your training in metcognito now, what mm. is your most likely diagnosis? Aortic dissection. What do you say? Aortic dissection. No, that is one of them. But listen yes. to this. The mm -hmm. pain is severe. The vitals are normal, but the pain is severe. Like there's no abdominal distension. The patient is not in shock and the patient has atrial fibrillation and the pain is around the peri-umbilical region. Uh, yeah, mesenteric ischemia. Beautiful. <laughs> and the mesenteric ischemia, are you going to go for acute mesenteric ischemia or chronic mesenteric ischemia? Acute mesenteric ischemia. Now, how does acute mesenteric ischemia differ from chronic mesenteric ischemia? So the, the patient will have acute onset of severe pain in acute mesenteric ischemia, while in chronic mesenteric ischemia, it will be vague. The duration okay. will be sometimes recurring abdominal mm -hmm. pain, which has been there for some time. Yeah. And what is one unique thing about chronic mesenteric ischemia that you will also want to know? It looks like whenever the patient eats, that kind of pain comes up. Right? So that is what we call uh, like mesenteric angina, you know, mesenteric angina. But with the acute one, as soon as you see atrial fibrillation or irregularly irregular heart rate plus pain out of proportion, oh, then you're going for that.